when Lorcana came out, we really wanted to create a space where um, people, women, non-binary people could kind of like hang out with us, feel more comfortable, and join the space. For the most part, I'm most concerned with playability. So my goal is for each card. That's where I am. If I open an enchanted, I keep it, but I don't go out of my way to get them. But then you get to play with everyone and no one runs any meta decks. That's where I play my pirates decks. I've been to Disneyland only once and I gotta be honest with you, Earl. Disney World is so much better <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to make friends as an adult so like <laughs> i think if you are just looking for friends like jump into a tcg i try wait the bullying doesn't go two ways <laughs> well the younger one doesn't have enough power yeah how's it going everyone my name is earl meister and this is the lore meisters podcast <laughs> For this week's episode, we have fellow podcasters from the Live Laugh Lorcana podcast, Katie and Becky. Katie and Becky are sisters and lifelong Disney fans. They grew up watching Disney movies with their family and making regular trips to Disney World. Becky's first TCG is Lorcana. Becky loves to cosplay and used to participate in the anime convention scene. She is also a mother of two boys. Katie, on the other hand, first got into TCGs in 2022 when she started playing the card game Flesh and Blood. She got hooked on the game quickly, joined the team, and had fun traveling to compete competitive events. When Disney Lorcana was announced, she got on board immediately and was very excited at the prospect of being able to share the TCG world with Becky. So Katie convinced her sister Becky to start a podcast with her about Disney Lorcana. This podcast became a super chill and safe place for the community to listen to and relax. We're finally here, everyone, with the Live, Laugh, Lorcana crew. We got Katie and Becky today, and we're going to be talking about the new announcements from Lorcana, the stream that just happened on Twitch. A lot of spicy new stuff, both competitive and casual. So I, I love that they do that, first of all, because uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of, of both sides. I like playing for fun. I also like to play competitively here and there. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know where to start. There's there, there's so much uh, into that. But but before we hop on to that, let's 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 get to know you a little bit more re really quick and save that uh, for the middle of, of of the conversation. So what started your po podcast, the LL po podcast, Live Laugh Lorcana po podcast? What was the idea behind that? What got you guys into it? Um, well, Katie bullied me into it. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> well, she uh, she loved playing Flesh and Blood, and uh, she noticed there weren't a lot of women playing. And so when Lorcana came out, we really wanted to create a space where um, people, women, non-binary people, could kind of like hang out with us, feel more comfortable, and join the space. And I was really into that. And I was like, Katie, like, I don't know anything about TCGs. And she said that that would be a really unique perspective. So here I am. <laughs> yeah, well, well, it's Disney as well, right? So it's it's got to be sure. easy because most of us grew up with, with Disney. It's very rare that I meet someone that yeah, I didn't watch any Disney movies growing up. I hated Disney growing up. It, 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 it's either they've seen it. Maybe they're not a big fan of uh, it anymore. But at one point in their life, they definitely have uh liked it right for sure <laughs> that's th th that's pretty cool so she got bullied into it you just you you just uh <laughs> started uh right right from there that's really funny it's a very sister thing to do or a sibling thing to do in uh i'm the older general. sister you know it just <laughs> <laughs> i'm the older sister so <laughs> yeah you for you, you always force the the little ones to to do what you want them to do <laughs> but um I yeah, so uh, we're going to talk about some fun Lorcana stuff really quick. Um, first is, how much do you guys collect? Katie, behind you, um, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, like, um, I, <laughs> the first the first chapter, I went a little bit crazy because every time I saw a box or pack, I, I felt like I had to buy it. Yeah. Um, and I'm still trying to, like, train myself out of that. Like, I went into Barnes & Noble the other day and there were packs on the shelves. I'm like, you don't need packs. You don't need packs. <laughs> um, 
But for the most part, I'm most concerned with playability. So my goal is four of each card. That's where I am. If I open an enchanted, I keep it, but I don't go out of my way to get them. Yeah, it, it could get really pricey for en uh, enchanted collection. I kind of do the same. I try to get uh, four of each, but not like it, it, if it's a card that I don't usually play, then I'm not going to go out of my way to get four of, or, or of each. But definitely the first two weeks of, of the a set release, I'll get at least one of each. I, I, li I like having a, a full binder of the whole collection. And before I sleep at night, you know, just check it out and stuff. <laughs> Very soothing. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Do you, do, um, do you guys have the same collection? Uh, do you share the same collection? No. <laughs> um, I have my own. I I literally did not buy singles till like two weeks ago. Like I never had before. So like whatever I open, that's what I have. And I try to get two boxes a set. So nothing crazy and then packs at league. But like I've never gone for the full play set. So kudos to you guys. <laughs> okay. Well, two boxes will get you a lot a lot of cards. And yeah. this goes into my next question as well. How much do you play on your LGS? Cuz like playing on NG uh, your LGS there there are prizes uh even just for participation as well. Like in my LGS, if you participated, you're guaranteed one pack. And, and it's basically um 8 pounds for uh, for for you to play in uh, the league and you're guaranteed one pack, which is pretty nice. You're basically just paying the place three pounds for you to get to play with the other people do you do you go to your lgs a lot uh yeah we go to a weekly league and ours is like a seven dollar buy-in and that's the that's pack. pretty cheap yeah it's you pay for the pack that's that's what it is and then you can buy extra packs is this, um, and then they okay go ahead sorry no and then they like do the promos and the the other stuff but our league is huge and oh, okay. there's never enough for everybody and i'm not like i'm not i don't run like very competitive decks so i'm always like kind of at the bottom just hanging out playing <laughs> yeah i mean th that's what it's supposed to be right it's it it's for everyone you don't always have to win to have fun we we have we have two different uh, well i go to do two different lgs one of them runs to um tournaments every week well it's not tournaments two leagues every week one for competitive uh people and there's also one for uh casual players and the casual players one you don't get a pack but you also pay less you only pay five, five pounds and you get to choose whatever drink you want always choose the most expensive one so you get your money's worth but uh <laughs> but, but 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 then you get to play with everyone and no one runs any meta meta decks that's where i play my pirate pirates decks yeah oh fun that's cool yeah so so do you both go to the the same uh lgs uh at, at the same time or because it's two people right like your schedules can't always uh connect i'm pretty sure that sometimes uh one can go and one can't that's the one we go to the most um that's like the more the most casual one in the area there are a couple others that skew a little more competitive and i'll i'll go to those sometime but i don't think becky's been to any of the other ones no i don't i like my friends and we're all just hanging out consistently but katie and i uh live like half an hour from each other so we're in similar like pretty close to the same kind of stores yeah that's cool. That's cool. I'm trying to get my uh, wife into it. Um, uh, her Christmas gift for me was learning Lurkana. So um, we, we we played Lurkana during Christmas. I posted a picture as well. And uh, since then, we played a, a few times. But uh, since she's she's pregnant, it's really hard to like focus. And most of the time, late at night, when I'm done with my work and she's done with her with hers. We're, we're both tired, but I always have extra energy for Lurkana. Um, she doesn't. <laughs> so um, when we find days that where, where we play, we, we do play together, and I want to take her to to the league. I, I, I've asked her many times, but she's a little intimidated. But lately, she, it, it's been more comfortable for her to, because um, sometimes she would stop by. It's more comfortable for her now because um, my, my friends and their partners, they started going uh, to the league as well on on the Tuesday nights, which was the casual one where we get a free drink, we we get to hang out and um, play play Lurkana. And she saw that and she's like, yeah, I might actually uh, do it after she she gives birth because it's she's doing um, seven and a half weeks. 
So, um, yeah, <laughs> when, 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 uh, when my daughter is born, she'll get some rest and then eventually we're, we're going to start. And I'm so excited. We're going to start doing that in, in, in the future. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> That's great. That's wonderful. Um, my husband, he uh, plays with me, but he never goes out to play. But he'll play with me when I'm like, hey, let's, you know, try something. Yeah. But he's not he's not super into it. OK, OK. I got gotcha. you. It's not for yeah. everyone. Right. It's not no. for everyone. Uh, I've been a gamer my whole life. And when we got married, I was still a gamer. But um, she never was. But from time to time, there are some games where we play together. Final Fantasy MMO. We had a lot of fun there um other than that uh we played Cl clash of clans do you guys remember clash of clans yeah yeah we, we played that she was very into that she was spending hundreds of dollars sometimes <laughs> to upgrade stuff uh, and i'm like oh i'm like slow down on that <laughs> but yeah she gets excited with like building stuff in general she she loves games like that like sims and all that um oh, cool. Yeah. So uh, my 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 next question is, um, are you are you going to participate on the recent the recent tournament uh, thing that they they've announced? Uh, let's start with set championships and then um, the circuit as well. The Lorcana challenge, I believe, is what they call it from from the announcement today. Is that something you girls are going to go to and participate in? Uh, me definitely set championships definitely i'm hope i'm trying to figure out how much pto i can use for um the the ch the challenges and then i will probably go to the north american championship whether or not i have an invite i'm i'm headed that way well well they what said on you, the Becky? first day you can participate uh on the first day and there's a chance of going to the, the the second day, but uh, it's probably going to be slim since uh, there's going to be so many people that's participating on that. It's the world's championship, of course. But uh, yeah, that that's pretty cool. How 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 about you, Becky? Uh, I would like to try. Um, yeah. I don't know. I we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. I would love to. I would love to go to. Um, the challenge though. That sounds awesome and so cool. So. We'll yeah. And, and they also said that if even if you're not um, competitive, there's a place for everyone there. There, there are side events that that's going to be fun where you, get, you can gain some points and get, 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 get some prizes. And I'm pretty sure that they said they want it to be an, an actual event, not just um, not just for com the com competitive side of things. And they're Disney, right? Like, so there's so many things that they can do. I've had this chat with, with some of my guests before. They can literally have the artists do like a drawing session with people. Teach us how to draw Mickey. Teach us how to draw Elsa, right? Like that, that, that would be, that would be cool. Or the one that, the, cause I'm Filipino and this is a big part of our culture. The one that I keep saying, it's Disney. We love Disney songs. Let's have a karaoke party there. Let's have a karaoke booth. <laughs> Very awesome. Love that. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's the thing. Even if I like, because I'm, I'm not super competitive, but I'm sure like it's such a great atmosphere. I'm sure they're pulling out all the stops. It's going to be so cool. So I, yeah, I mean, I want to go. We'll see. We'll see how it pans out, though. Yeah. All right. So we are going to go into the, the hottest topic today which is the announcements on, on Twitch. I'm pretty sure everyone is, is waiting for that. Um, I, 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 I myself has been curious how the prizes are, 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 are going to be or how they're going to look. And also like just events in general, when are they going to happen? I'm a little jealous of NA. Um, I kind of wish that I'm still living there because you're getting eight, uh, no, yeah, six total events in NA and we're only getting four in EU. What's up with that? <laughs> but I guess we should be thankful because like uh, a a Asia or other other stuff, um, uh, uh, other regions didn't get anything at all. So true. True. Yeah. Are either of those uh, European ones convenient for you? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. It's really convenient to travel in EU because once you, you're in EU, I've heard that. it's so cheap to travel. So yeah. you can get a ticket for 30 pounds, maybe less sometimes if you buy it ahead of time, 30 to 50 pounds to go to another country. Yeah. 
It's <laughs> so really, we, we should be jealous of you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's pros and cons for both, right? Yeah, because yeah. there's yeah. so there's so many events there in in, in the U.S. A lot of uh, conventions, expos, and stuff. Um, we we get some over here too, but not uh, the same amount that the U.S. have in in, in general. Yeah. And then that's one of the things that I took for granted when when I was there or I never like really thought of because uh, I, I lived in California for, for 15, 16 years. And especially California, we get so many events in San Diego alone, the Comic Con, Twitch Con, all kinds of cons, anime con. It, 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 it's all there. And yeah. Uh, I have a note over here, so I don't want you to think that I'm trying to text while while I'm, I'm doing that. But I, I wrote everything um, uh, from the the announcements. Are you guys a big fan of uh, Encanto? How excited are you that they're finally adding en Encanto in? Honestly, Encanto, so <laughs> Encanto, Encanto is probably my favorite Disney movie. It is so good heartwarming funny just the songs are incredible i love it i've been talking about wanting Encanto since day one i'm so excited it's here i'm so excited we have a whole starter deck we have a madrigal um what's the word type typing for cards now yeah like, I, I the whole family is there and, and they <laughs> actually have a synergy with each other I love it. I yeah. love it. It's really cool that they, they try to prioritize that as well. Like give you a, a role playing feel when you're playing your 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 decks. And and for me, that's very important because I'm a big I'm a big role player um, growing up. <laughs> yeah, for sure. How about you, Katie? Are you are you excited at all in, uh, in Kanto? Oh. Is it something that you don't really care about? No, I'm thrilled. I adore that movie. Probably my favorite Disney song is Surface Pressure. So I'm I'm hoping we get that card. Like we got Luisa. We have to get Surface Pressure, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So so excited. Yeah. yeah. Um I'm surprised as well that there there's actually like so many songs that's not in the game yet. Like you would expect that on set one we would get classics right away. Under the sea is still not there. Yeah, and that's one of like yeah. the biggest songs for me growing up. Like, I love that. Same. When I hear heard that when I was a kid, I'm always dancing when I hear that, and I, and I do it with my niece. Uh, I got a four year old niece, and and we we listen to the to the playlist, Disney playlist, all the time, and she yeah. loves that song. I'm surprised oh, it's not fun. there yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, classic. Um. Also, how excited are you for the new cards that the, that they reveal? Not not the new cards for the plays, but but the prices, the 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 giant Tinkerbell mat, the Rapunzel mat, the prices for like the new art. Well, uh, a revamped, better version of Dragonfire. Uh, what else? Um, Let it go, and then a new version of Cinderella and Rapunzel. I love those two cards when they revealed it. I was. I gotta have those. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Wh wh which one is your 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 favorite with like uh with with all the new cards that they released? Well, Anything I'm a, that stood I'm a, out? I'm a huge Rapunzel fan, so we got so much Rapunzel today with that stunning mat, and then they're redoing the um, gifted artist one with another mat, and then the the prizing Rapunzel is gorgeous yeah. and like they're talking about the new foiling on stuff and i'm just like i need to see what it looks like yeah like, let me see it <laughs> foiling in a mat i don't think i've ever seen a foiled mat before no! <laughs> oh, it's gonna be fantastic yeah, I'm, I'm I'm super 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 excited for 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 the mat as well. Um, what about uh, card reveals? I I know we talked about uh, Encanto in general. Uh, I'm actually um, what do you call this? Um, I'm super excited for some of the cards. I don't know if you saw the one in their side as well. They revealed a new Ursula. I've been waiting for mechanics like that. I mean, we got the anti song mechanic because I'm always getting my my booty kick with the uh, steel song. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of that. And uh, did you see the the other card that they released or revealed in in the site the the Ursula one? Yeah, I'm trying to remember what it does. I can't remember. So it's a, it's a it's a floodborne Ursula purple uh, uh, seven costs, and you can shift it for five. And while it's exerted, no one can sing. Yeah, that's really cool. 
I, re- I really, really like that uh, they did that for Ursula. Well, I wanted a mechanic that's like that, like a, kind of like a silence mechanic. Other games have it. Um, yeah. And the fact that it's Ursula that's doing it, that's just like no singing for anyone. I, 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 <laughs> I, I love that. <laughs> no be prepared so while I'm exerted. <laughs> yeah. So good. Yeah, I'm super, super excited uh, uh, for that. So we like what I said, we've got a bunch of... Um, what do you call this? New dates as, as well, for, or not new dates, uh, uh, the actual dates for the the event. I'm definitely going to try to go to all of them if if I can. Um, it's a little tough, like what I said with the, with the baby, especially the first event is late May and we are due on May 9th. So I'm like, oh, OK. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be really tough. And I and I and I would feel bad like leaving after like two like for a weekend um, after two, three weeks of like my baby being born. But it, yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to get my mind around it. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to do do my best. Uh, are, are you going to attend oh, um, any any of the ones that they, they announced so far? Well, I was thinking Atlanta is Fairly, I thought Atlanta would be closer than Chicago, but Katie was talking Chicago. What are we thinking, Katie? I, Atlanta is May twenty fifth, which is one week after Set Four release, so that feels like a little close for me. Like, what am I going to play? I'm going to be so stressed out. Um, I kind of am more tempted by Chicago, which is June eighth and 9th for us. I mean, if you have to fly, it would be the same price, right? And the same like kind of like length. It, it, it... Probably, honestly. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I was just worried about how close that um, May 25th was to when set four comes out. Because it's like getting cards to play in your deck. Um, on that oh, short okay. Really okay. Yeah. yeah. And then you got to cook some new ideas, some new decks, yeah. and you don't know what to expect. It's going to be a spicy it one. Long. It's gonna be a super, super spicy um, event. I'm, I'm excited, and uh, and I feel you on that too. I'm, I'm also scared of going to that event, um, knowing that I have to put in extra work to, to build an ultra megatonic deck for a competition like that. Mm-hmm. But right. for me, win or lose, honestly, I don't. I don't really care. Of course, like I, I would be lying if I say that I completely don't care because in the back of my head, winning would be awesome. Like if if, if I do get that and get get my invites on Worlds that early, it would be awesome. But I always try to tell myself when you go to events, losing is going to be part of it. Winning is going to be part of it. And if you lose, it's okay. And what makes it easier for me is I know a lot of the... A lot of my friends and a lot of my friends in the the uh, creator um, world as well, or, or the Lurkana community is going to go there. So either way, win or lose, I'm going to get to hang out with my friends and I'm going to a Lurkana event. I'm just going to have a great time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm super excited for that. Um, but, but yeah, um, one of the things that I'm worried though is that, okay, um, the, the world's this year will definitely be in the U.S. and it's going to be an expensive trip for us. <laughs> yeah, I would be surprised if it's not. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't it be awesome if they do it in uh, Disney World? Like, it's. It would be pretty awesome. It's it's yeah. the world's event. It's only fitting that they they do it in Disney World. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And, that and, would be cool. And it's an extra copium as well, right? Like um, uh, what what do you call this? Like I said, win or lose, Disney World is right behind me. I want to go right, ride some rides right now. <laughs> we will win when there's Disney World. Yeah, yeah. And I've never been to Disney World. I've been to Disneyland a couple times uh, before in Cali, but uh, I've never been to Disney World. And I've heard great things uh, uh, about it and how huge it is that it will take like a few days to actually go to every single ride or just go Absolutely. around it. Have you Have you yeah. been? I've, well, we've been to Disney World a bunch of times. I, I was at, I've been to Disneyland only once, and I gotta be honest with you, Earl. 
Disney World is so much better. <laughs> <laughs> now I really, really want to go there. And now I really hope that they do worlds there. <laughs> I hope nobody watching is offended by that take. But it's just, it's so big and there's so much and the theming and everything. And like, you could just tell it's like a newer park and there's just so much. Yeah. But Disneyland, of course, is fantastic and nostalgic and Disneyland's great. It just makes sense as well, right? Um, that it, it's it's a Disneyland and versus a Disney World, <laughs> like uh, yeah, sure. uh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, um, uh, that happens. Now we're gonna go into some fun segments that uh, I always do with my my guests. I like to have fun. I don't always just want to talk about the the competitive stuff and like uh, everything like deep into to Lorcana. I like to uh, do some games with uh, everyone. So the first segment we're going to do is the 10-second segment. This one is ban the card segment. You can ban it for competitive reasons. You can ban it just because you hate the card. But you only have 10 seconds to answer. Okay. Everyone ready? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to start with um, the very first ink, Amber. 10 seconds, go. Here you go. Rockstar Stitch. Okay. Uh Perdita, for a similar reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, number two, Amethyst. Ten seconds. Go. Uh, Queen's Fox. Castle. Oh, wait. Yeah, Sorry. Madam M. Fox. Uh, That's a good answer. How about you, Becky? Madam M. Fox. I said uh, the Queen's Castle. The Queen's Castle. Yeah, that, that can be really annoying, especially if you don't have a deck that specifically can do big damage to, yes. to anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, number three, Emerald. Ten seconds. Hit cloud it's okay. We keep doing it, Katie. You first, then me. I thought, you first. I thought I was always going first. I thought this was. We she's doing. she's the old uh, older one. She, she <laughs> know, I'm so sorry. she's got I'm the right it. to go first. I'm just kidding. Do it again. Go. <laughs> Emerald, go. Hit cloud kicker. Lucifer. All right. Okay. Fair answers. Uh, Ruby, ten seconds go. Maui. Good answer. Uh, Shere Khan. Shere Khan. Okay. I, I really, really want a Shere Khan uh, deck um, that, that um, comes to life soon. Because the amount of time I spent trying to make that card work, I can't figure out <laughs> what deck I should put it in. But it's you, it's so exciting. You got to talk to Katie. She makes my life miserable with that. So... <laughs> that for later. So that's the reason why the ban was uh, Shere Khan. <laughs> Katie personal. <laughs> Shere Khan and then turn five Maui. Ooh, that uh, that sounds pretty mean. <laughs> um, number five, Sapphire. Ten seconds. It's hard. Popsicle. Uh, fishbone. Fishbone quilt. Okay. Popsicle and fishbone quill. I like the uh, the those two. Items. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Number six, steel. This is the last one. A whole new world. Grab your swords. Okay. All right. The, 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 both of your answers are usually the ones that, that we got, except for the specific one targeted on Katie, because uh, <laughs> <laughs> you made her life miserable with Shere Khan, apparently. <laughs> well, I never, never will forget. I'm surprised how many people say a whole new world. I think that's fun. That's a fun card. It's fun when you're playing it. When you're playing yeah. against it, it can be very unfun. <laughs> no, it's like a refresh. Like, let's just, you know, I yeah. like it. I've never been a whole new world and not been like, oh, great, I get seven cards. It, it is pretty exciting as well. I do <laughs> ag agree with that. Grab your swords, though. That's one of the cards that I hated the most, like uh, in set one and set two. Awful. As an aggro player, I play a lot of like little characters. Little guys, me too. And I'm not allowed to play like so many aggro decks because that card exists. Yeah, <laughs> the killer of little guys. Yeah, although the last weekend there was two decks that made it to top four in two big events, and they both look like a budget deck. Um, I I, I, I saw that. Yeah, but from Zach Bivens. It, yeah. it looks like it, he stopped by at someone's house. He's like, bro, I forgot my deck. Can I see your bulk? And then just yeah. grabbed all the cheap cards, put it together. The deck is like 30, 30 bucks, 50 bucks um, as a whole. Yeah. That yeah. was super impressive. Awesome. Especially as an aggro deck. So good. Yeah. Um, all right. 
we're gonna go into another 10 second uh, uh, segments here. We're gonna go into the favorite card segment. This is the next one. We have five five questions here. We're gonna start with your favorite character to play 10 seconds. Becky, you do all these first. Okay. <laughs> um, Jasmine, Queen of Agrabah. All right. Uh, Maui. Maui. <laughs> Who I said to ban. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lo you love and hate him. <laughs> yeah. Love and hate uh, relationship with Maui. I mean, I have that relationship with a, a whole new world. I love it and I hate it at the same time. <laughs> and be prepared. I <laughs> I love him, but I know he's busted. <laughs> yeah, he's he's just so good. Like I, I feel like that card should have been like at least six four, six six five with a rush. It's it's just too good. It's too good. It's guaranteed or an value. Inkable. Yeah, or Something. an inkable. Yeah, that 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 works too. All right, number two question is favorite character art. Take your time. Well, ten seconds. Oh. Take your time. Ten seconds. <laughs> Ariel, spectacular singer. Okay. That's a good answer. I was gonna say Tinkerbell Giant Fairy because it's on my brain, but yeah. fabulous. Yeah, that that is a really really cool card. I mean, it's something that we ne we we never like think of like growing up, and and then they present you a card that's just like this bully, big giant mm -hmm. Tinkerbell. That's like, oh, okay, God. I am the boss now. So cute. You're the you're the little people now. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. So, uh, number three favorite enchanted card from any side. Then along, then along came Zeus. Uh, the new one. Yeah. Uh, gorgeous art. Love that one. I haven't pulled I'm an enchanted. I'm gonna say Aurora. Uh, Aurora. Oh. Aurora from chapter one, because that's the first one I pulled. Nice. Aww. I've got one too. I've never pulled one from set three though. I opened uh, four boxes in total and one trove and zero enchanted. Zero enchanted. I got punished honestly because like it, the second set I got one for sure because I bought a case. So one was guaranteed. Like, well, not guaranteed, but a high chance of getting one. And I'm yeah. like, you know what? I think uh, I'm gonna do some gambling for set three. Instead, I'm, I'll buy four boxes still, but I'll buy it from se dif uh, different separate places, right? And maybe I'll get four this time. And I got punished for it. <laughs> so don't I'm do also, what I did. <laughs> I'm also punished because literally the first three boxes I opened all had enchanteds in them. And then, so I'm never gonna get another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. End with a win, it's right? Over. End with a win. <laughs> yeah, did, did you get any enchanted for set three, uh, Katie? No. No, zero enchanteds, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I've only pulled one from an actual box. Um, the other two enchanteds that I got actually was from um, from the packs that I get from L uh, my LGS. There's, there's one like tournament where I was a little um, salty, but I don't show it to people. But deep inside, um, uh, I wish that uh, I got in first. I got second place on this one. But the reason why was like I was being so hard on myself because I knew exactly what to do. But I misplayed, and every time I do it, I'm just like in my in, inside me. I'm like, oh, why did you do that? You know that was wrong, and then now you're getting punished for it. So I got second place, and then they handed me the two packs that, uh, for for second place, and I opened it, and I'm like, it was it was meant to be. It was. Yeah. <laughs> you're the real winner. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what I always tell people. To, let's just all be honest. Like you can flex all you want if you if you get first. I mean it's nice if you do get that. But the one who pulls the best card is always the winner <laughs> in my book. Because <laughs> nothing feels better than the excitement of opening it and then you get an ultra megatonic card and you just yell as loud as you can in the LGS. Um, okay, yeah. um, moving to the fourth question. Um, your favorite song card, whether to play, whether because it's your favorite song or you just love the art for different reasons, it, it doesn't matter. What's your favorite song card? Um, part of your world. Okay. One, one jump ahead. I just love the song. One jump ahead. Yeah. I actually watched, um, 
the new uh, Aladdin, the the, mm -hmm. the live action one. It, it wasn't yeah. it wasn't as bad as uh, people said. Um, uh, of course, like the animation is always be is always going to be a classic, and also. Um, we probably would have wished that it was uh, Robin Williams that was uh, playing the the genie, but I, I thought I thought it was okay. I enjoyed it, and and uh, I did too. I, I was singing it. along. Like, <laughs> the costuming, the sets, it was gorgeous. I I thought it was really cool. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought it was uh, uh pretty pretty good. Um, after I watch it too, every time I go to my LGS or anywhere I go, even even when I'm cooking, showering, or or just chilling. I'm. I, I keep singing. Uh, friend like me. That song is just so catchy, especially when when the instruments like dun -dun 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 -dun, it just keeps it going. <laughs> yeah. All right. Last question is: you you have ten seconds as well. Your favorite item card. Popsicle. I was gonna say fishbone quill. Look at us. <laughs> 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 okay, Re reversed from the the band the card the uh, uh, segment. Uh, speaking of popsicle, I wanted a a, a booth in um what do you call this in uh the the, the Disney events for for Lorcana. I hope that they make a, a booth where it's like how to make popsicles, and <laughs> and then that you can buy a kit fun. for it. Oh, that that's so, so good! Cute. Yeah, ah. yeah. Ravensburger, if you're listening, hire me yeah. as the event manager. <laughs> I want to make it really fun for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you get to buy like a $30, $30 kit or a $50 kit. Like, here's all you need to make a popsicle at home. With the little molds. Oh, so cute. Yeah, yeah. That that, that, that would be um, uh, re really awesome. Now, my next question is, is there other titles that is not in Disney Lorcana yet that you were looking forward to to see or that you were very excited to see that you wanted for the next set or at least set five at the very least I would love to see Hunchback of Notre Dame mm. took my answer but yes that one <laughs> yeah I, I still remember like watching that with, with my mom when I when I was a kid and then we went to the toy store and we got a puzzle for it and uh, I keep the, doing the puzzle when I when I get home. Um, yeah, um, th that's pretty good. I, I actually haven't seen um, uh, that movie in probably in like 15, 20 years. Ever oh since gosh, I, I was a kid. You gotta rewatch it. It is so, in, as an adult, it's a completely different movie. You gotta watch it. It's so good. I've been noticing that a lot with like uh, other Disney movie that I see and uh, that I watch in Disney+. Plus. It, my perspective has changed so much ever since I, uh, I I was a kid, and it's a complete different movie, right? Like every time you watch uh, one of them, yeah. Well, I remember when <laughs> spoiler alert when Mufasa dies in Lion King. I remember being like sad about that as a kid, but as an adult, it's like tears streaming down my face, like sobbing. Like it's hits me so much harder now that I have kids of my own. Like I just yeah. can't handle it. So. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 and and I feel bad for both like for both M Mufasa and uh, Simba as well, because like Simba is just really is just a kid at the end of the day, I right? Know. And he didn't oh. really like mean that and uh, all no, that stuff. No, it's awful, awful, poor baby. <laughs> for me, um, the the one that I'm looking forward to the most is uh, Tarzan. I I, I oh. really enjoyed Tarzan as a kid. Good. Answer. What answer? <laughs> and and I watched it as uh, as well uh, about a uh, a month ago, and and I, I've got the same uh, uh, feeling too. The, the I forgot what's the name of of the the villain there, and it's just like you greedy bastard, like Clayton. <laughs> Clayton. Yeah. Every, everything every, everything was was going good like them meeting. Also, it's 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 just it's just so fascinating like. Um, I try to imagine the, the the experience when when Jane and Tarzan just first like saw each other, and it's um, like if I meet a people uh, or a person like that in 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 real life, I would freak out. 
I would freak oh, out. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> And it would be cool too to to see that. Uh, and um, about like a couple of years ago too, I watched the the live action one. That one is mm -hmm. that one had a totally different feel. It was so dark. Yeah, the, it was. Yeah, it really was. I, I was not expecting that uh, at all. Yeah. How about a um, so hunchback of a? I don't know how to pronounce it right. Is it Notre Dame or Notre Dame? I think it's Notre Dame if it's French. Okay. But if you're American, it's Notre Dame. <laughs> Notre Dame. <laughs> that reminds me of the first time I moved here in uh, Scotland, and um, the 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 city right next to us. So I I live in Glasgow. Um, city uh, city. You live uh, right... in Glasgow? Yeah, I, I just moved here one year one year ago with with my wife because she grew up here. In, oh, uh, cool. in Glasgow, and I used to pronounce uh, Edinburgh Edinburgh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like, how how do you get Edinburgh from that? Like no no one in their right mind, if they see that, that they would read that as Edinburgh. It's Edinburgh all the way. And I try I, I try to trigger people here too. Like sometimes I would just say it just to do, just to trigger them. Or a lot of the people here keeps asking me because football is very big here. And by football I mean um uh European football, soccer. Um okay. Whenever they ask me, uh, what football team do you support? Because like there are two teams here. It's like a, a the green team, uh, uh, Celtics, and then you have the blue team, which is uh, Rangers. And they keep asking me, and I'm like, this will this answer your question? I still call your sports soccer, and they're like. <laughs> <laughs> And okay. refer to them as the blue team and the green team. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. And, 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 and then they would really try to get some answer off of you. And it's like, well, what's your favorite color? Blue yeah, or right? green? And I don't want to answer because like they get so competitive with it. and I don't want any trouble, especially when I go to uh, uh, I, I met some new friends last year. And believe it or not. I met friends. I was here. Uh, well, I've been here for a, a year and, and a half. And before that, um, I had to stay in the U.S. for like nine, ten months uh, to wait for my paperwork to to get approved. Um, before that, I was here for six months because you can go here for six months and then you have to leave uh, after six months. So I was here with my wife moving all the stuff. And then after six months, I had to uh, uh, go to the U.S. But the whole time that I was here for six months. And when I got back for another like six, seven months, I didn't have any friends. I just, I, I, I've been married for, for at the time, I've been married for seven years and we were together for nine years. We're together for 10 years now. Um, I forgot how it is to like go out and meet new people. And, <laughs> and then Lurkana came around. So that's how I met my, my new friends. And we've been hanging out for like, what five six months now ever since that one uh came out and that's how i actually met met people that's really really sweet and i actually feel something kind of similar because i i i mean there's the pandemic and then i became a mom and so there was like three years where like i didn't go out and like you know your friends kind of drift away and yeah. going to league is just a great place for me to talk to people yeah. And I've made friends through that. And it's just really awesome. Great yeah. way to get out and meet people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, uh, it's yeah. hard to make friends as an adult. So, like, <laughs> I think TCG is, like, if you are just looking for friends, like, jump into a TCG. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and I've been I've been telling people ever since in the community, like I know how tough and I'm making a video of this, like a vlog like video, the experience of going into an LGS. It's just that when you get there, you know, for sure that these people that you're going to uh, play with, you have something in common right away. And that's the love for that uh, card game or, or, or just card games in, in, in general or geeky stuff in general. Right. And it, it's a nice way to like start a conversation because if I meet, meet someone like new, like outside of that, like, what do I tell them? Like, should I start talking about so, some of my favorite animes? Sh should I start <laughs> talking about Disney Lorcana? They're probably th going to think that I'm a weirdo um, for like starting a conversation like that. But then again, you'll never know that maybe those people love, love those things too, right? Like um, in the beginning of uh, The Call, when 
when you were mentioning about the anime and uh, or cosplaying, I actually want to ask you some uh, questions about that. Um, did you cosplay too, Katie? No. No, you... I tried. Wait, the bullying doesn't go two ways. Only one way. <laughs> well, the younger one doesn't have enough power to 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 make the 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 older sister to to do what what you want, right? But um, what what kind of a uh, cosplay did you did like a uh, level wise of cosplay? Did you go like all out like cosplaying, or is it more of just like buy something in Amazon and then wear? Oh, wear that. Um. Well, I. <laughs> I've I've taken a bit of a detour recently. Well, honestly, when I was big into cosplay, it was like mm, I don't know, like ten years ago. Um, but no, I would I would make my own uh, costumes, do all the sewing and stuff. Do you you mentioned? Um, no, you mentioned Final Fantasy. Um, I had a Yuna cosplay for Final Fantasy Ooh, Ten that was extremely cool. cute. And I also, um, I don't know if you know Fire Emblem, yeah. but this was my best one because I, I roped my husband into doing it. Um, we were Lissa and Lanku from Fire Emblem Awakening, and I made oh. the whole shebang, and it was... That's really cool. I'm hoping to do it more with Lorcana. I did a, this was more of like a closet cosplay. <laughs> I just made the hat, but like I got a costume um, for Detective Mickey. Um, oh. I did for Halloween, which was really, which was really fun. And I tried to bully Katie into letting me make something for her, but she wouldn't let me. <laughs> well, I'm gonna help you uh, bully her right now, and we're gonna guilt trip her. She did, she did the podcast for you, Katie. It's only fair that you, you do something in return. Yeah, come on. <laughs> to argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just uh, uh, kid, uh, um, kidding. It's it's not for Shit. everyone, right? Like there are things that I can't uh, get my my uh, wife to do, but I definitely want to cosplay someday. W one of the Disney characters, or one of the video games or anime that I that I watch. I just I suck with crafting. My 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 wife is the crafter. Oh, maybe we can do a collaboration. Yeah, yeah, because she, because she, she's that 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 was her hobby before, but she's like getting really deep into it now. Um, she mm -hmm. wants to turn it into a business, and I'm like, we we could like we, we can collaborate as well, like doing Lorcana stuff. Uh, I told her because she has like the whole Cricut set and a bunch of like different tools. I don't know if you guys heard of Cricut before. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, so she's she's got the the the, the whole set and then um she's planning to buy a, a 3D printer as well and then she's got other tools. I don't know what they're called. I'm not a crafter, but I've always like thought that maybe we should do a collaboration of like I'll give you Lurkana ideas and I cuz I know a lot of uh card gamers love accessories. Some oh, yeah. card gamers probably spend more money in accessories than they do with cards. <laughs> I love things. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm one of those people. <laughs> yeah. um, speaking of, I wanted to mention uh, Pavel, um, the, 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 the maker of uh, Pixelborn. I got to meet him during my London trip uh, for Set 3 release, release, and that dude loves fancy um shiny things for for card gaming he, he's he, he he brought like three four different like lore counters he's got all these miniatures like disney uh miniatures he's got the mat <laughs> he's wearing his flexing his uh mickey mouse blt promo like it, it was it, it was like protected and it, and he's got a lanyard <laughs> you know it's just like this is my bling yeah um <laughs> and um when we play against each other i don't get to use my stuff because apparently well he didn't say this but like my stuff is not as cool as him so he would give me one of the lore counters and he would give me a uh what do you call this uh a miniature as well to go alongside with it it, it was it's actually really cool and and i'm like i wish i was that cool like <laughs> he, he seems like the nicest guy so i love hearing this because yeah he, he really is he really is um so the whole time that um we went over there um i met him uh on the line for the disney store and we started talking and then we went in you know uh do our thing got our cards signed bought our bought our stuff and then after that um i asked him what are you guys doing and they're like oh we're just gonna go to other local game stores because uh, we're gonna pick up more uh products 
um, since the, the the things that you can buy in the Disney store is limited um, because they want everyone to get their hands on it because of past experience with Lorcana. With the, uh, I heard that some of the scalpers would go like a couple blocks uh, down the road because there was like a printing service there, and they would re re reprint copies of their tickets. Just so they can go back in the line, buy some more products to sell on eBay. It's ridiculous. I hate people like that. Oh it's, my god! It, it takes some of the fun out from other people who actually wants to have fun. Those guys are yeah. not there for fun. They're not going to open those products. They're going to go straight to eBay and triple the price of the, the, the product. But there are like some people there that didn't get their hands on any product at all. And now they're going home and some of their friends have it. And people online, obviously, like we're all so uh connected to uh some social medias and then you get to see all that and you get to miss out and it's just sad times for those uh people but yeah uh sure. going back to my story sorry i kind of went on a tangent there um yeah after that we just started hanging out and the whole time that we were there um when i when i woke up that's where i went straight to to their uh hotel uh get to meet them we we ate and we hang out the whole time long story short he is a super sweet very nice, nice dude. For someone like who who's made something like that, um, I wouldn't say that you wouldn't expect that. But it, he was. It's just like he's super, super nice. And we gave each other a hug after um, the event when it's time to go home. And he told me, "Well, I'm gonna see you on the other events." I'm like, "Hell yeah!" And it's like it's gonna be cheaper now. And I'm like, "I know exactly what you're talking about. We can split a room." And we can we 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 can go to the room and uh, pay less money for for yeah. the, for the thing, right? Because uh, it can get really expensive, you know, like traveling. Oh, yeah. And uh, Katie, are, all that. are we gonna room together? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> are you ready for that? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so we weird if you don't room together. You're wasting money. <laughs> we haven't lived we together. We live together. But we, we live together for like. <laughs> I'm sure you can make it work. Uh, I mean, just think about this way. If you get a room together, then you would have a hundred, maybe two hundred dollars extra to buy more Disney Lorcana stuff in the event. That's true. That's true. That's the way I think about it. Because me and uh, Pavel, we definitely wanted more cards. <laughs> yeah, that's <fair. laughs> but, but yeah. Um yeah, I'm super excited with that. Well, um, uh, I've held you girls for too long here. Um, it's it's been almost a an, an hour now. Is there anything else that you you want to talk about? Because I know I keep like trying to lead the the podcast. It makes sense because it's, it's my podcast. But is there anything that you want to talk about specifically? Anything new with the LLL fam? Um, anything that we should expect uh, coming up next? Any spoilers for the next episode? I was listening to your last episode with the with the planking on the intro. That <laughs> made me laugh. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. I tried it. I'm not fit for it. I am not fit for it. I can't last for 30 seconds. I was getting cramps on my legs and my 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 lower back. <laughs> oh no, that's surprising. Um, yeah, I didn't know I could do it either. Um, <laughs> then it happened. But that's funny. Um. Uh, we're going to be talking about what happened today, probably on our podcast for this week. We're we'll record tomorrow, so very exciting. Cool. Um, thank you so much for having us. Of you course. are a delight. You're such a wonderful interviewer, and you're so sweet and so wonderful, and we love everything that you do. Thank you. Thank yes, you. I second that. Like, I, I watched your videos, and I'm literally like in awe of the beautiful bios you put together and these like really dynamic interviews that you do. Like, love it so much. Thank you for doing them. Well, I appreciate that. And I also appreciate you girls coming over here. That's it's really, really awesome. It uh, um, I know it takes a lot of time. Uh, also, like asking for the bios and the photos, it, it could get weird, too. Like, I'm just going to be honest, like as uh, as a, as a, uh, a guy asking a group of girls for their pictures and their background, it can be creepy. So I, I I tried my best, like, how do I word this so I don't come up creepy? I'm like, <laughs> and and I wanted uh, I wanted to like do that from the start, but I'm like, 
I probably should make a few episodes before I bring in any girls so I don't I don't get that reaction from them. <laughs> we didn't interpret it that way. We, we wouldn't have. But that is so thoughtful. And th- mm-hmm. th- like that's very nice to be considerate of that and be like, oh, here's an example of why I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. for all you know, right, it, there, 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 there could be a person there that would do yeah. the same to other people. Uh, and I would definitely tell my daughter, like, be careful of like sending your pictures to anyone or like your background. I'm, I'm, I'll be that dad tell it, uh, really? telling them. But like for all you know, I, I'm one of those people It's like, where's the podcast? When are we going to do the podcast? 10 years later, you know? Oh, <laughs> but, but anyways, thank you again for, for doing this with me. I really, really appreciate it. I hope that we could do this again in the future. Maybe um, if we see each other in an e- e- event, I, I, I've, I've talked to the other guests as well or other creators in general that I told them that if I see you in an event, there's a chance that I have all my 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 gears with me. Maybe we can do a re- recording, just like what I did in uh, London. Maybe we can do that in the future. But other than that, yeah. thank you uh, again. Is there anything sure. you want to tell the 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 audience? Oh, actually, before you say something to the audience, everyone, what are you waiting for? Click click down below description. You know what to do. Click the links. Click the follow. Click click the subscribe. Their links are going to be there. Make sure to show some love and support for, for the Live, Laugh, Lorcana uh, fam. And uh, yeah. is there anything you want to tell anyone? No. Um, yeah. Like, if you're interested, we got a podcast. We're also on Twitter and Instagram. So come hang out with us. It's been great. Katie? No, that's it. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Hi, highly, highly recommend their podcast, by the way. It's one of my favorite podcasts, in the, especially in the morning when I just wake up because the vibe, it's just like having the sisters you never have. Well, I don't have any siblings. So uh, <laughs> having that uh, fam- family uh, vibe, it's just you're talking to a friend, you're talking to a, a sibling. And I love I love having coffee in the morning while checking my emails and having your uh, podcast in my ear. It's it, It's a delight to have. It is a pleasure being your surrogate sisters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again for that, everyone. I'll see you guys on the next videos. Don't forget, again, the links down below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below any of your thoughts or questions. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Bye.